really the number one gift that you could probably give to a deaf and or disabled person is checking the abled and hearing privilege, which I did not think of. Somebody else did. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, yes, that would be nice, but that, that, that's not what we're going for here. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel and vlogmas. Today we're gonna we're gonna get a little into the holiday spirit and I want to suggest a few Christmas gifts for your deaf family member, a friend, why not? The price range on this goes from decently affordable to a little bit expensive, but maybe you have like a sugar daddy or a really rich grandma that will help you out. So I'm, I'm just giving a variety of ideas here. Just don't yell at me. So one of the first things on the list and is something that I use every single day is a sonic alarm, a sonic boom alarm clock, something like that. You can see that I have it. Um, it, it's kind of like right in this general area, if you can see it just a small bit. Basically what it is, is it looks like a regular alarm clock, right? It looks like your ordinary alarm clock, it's digital and whatnot, but it acts like an earthquake in the morning or whatever time it is that you have to wake up. I cannot wake up from a regular alarms. When I was younger, maybe that could happen, but now I, I don't have the hearing for that type of thing. Um, I have tried using the phone alarm and putting it under my pillow and the vibrations just aren't strong enough for that and i have accidentally been late to a business dinner because i tried that because i didn't want to plug in the sonic alarm so bad idea so basically you can use it as a regular alarm clock in fact this was my dad's my dad is a truck driver so he would use this uh, to wake up on time but now i have it so anybody can use this it's not deaf only but you can use it as a regular alarm clock. It does make really horrible shrieking noises, should you want that, which I unfortunately can't hear because it's like right there. But you can also just set it to buzz, and then when you turn it off, it moves to the shrieking mode. But it buzzes, and by buzzes, I mean it feels like what I imagine like a five to six point whatever magnitude or quake would feel like. It shakes the whole entire thing. So you will wake up unless you are an incredibly deep sleeper. It also works as a prank for your hearing friends who have no idea what's going on. I've done it, I've set it up, and we were just hanging out, and they were sitting on the bed, and it went off, and they freaked out. It was great, it was hilarious. Just, just throwing that out there. Great, great tool. They have some portable ones, but I just, I just take that with me wherever I go. It's good, I trust it. Although a portable one would be nice because that is, it does weigh a few pounds. But. So definitely one of those. Another thing is a Ring video doorbell which has gone missing from the box. Um, I'll post a picture of it here. I, 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 don't, I don't know where it went. It was over here and I just kind of ran away. Um, I'm going to be honest, I haven't even used this because I need help setting it up and I need permission to use it here. So this has gotten really, really popular, actually. It was featured on Shark Tank even, and I love Shark Tank. But basically what that is, it's a video doorbell. I think there's various kinds of video doorbells out there, but that's been like a really popular one lately. So you put the video doorbell on your door on the wall where you know, where a, normal, where a normal doorbell would go beside the door. And when somebody comes up, your phone will pick it up and then you basically, it's like, it's a security camera and doorbell in one, basically. So it's really good, not only for one, making sure nobody steals packages, but also when, if I'm expecting somebody, I guess, or even if I'm not really expecting anybody, but I know if somebody's coming around, I can choose to open the door or not open the door. Really, I, I never have any visitors unless it's maintenance and spectrum, but you know. Usually, if friends are picking me up, they text me. That's pretty much how I know. That's my personal doorbell. But yeah, if you are someone or if you know someone who could really benefit from that type of thing, that's definitely a good idea. But also, more like shirt merch by Mara is a great one. Uh, she makes a lot of shirts that have the I love you sign 
and I have a shirt. You might have seen me wear it on occasion. It's it's somewhere. But um, I've been looking at uh, the Dusty Rose sweater. It's it, it's really really beautiful, and I really like it. And she has other products as well. You can get pop sockets for your phone. There's bags. There's a tank top for your dog if you got a dog and you want to dress it up with the little sweater. You know, tank tops and whatnot. It's um, a really great deaf business to support. Now, a really important thing that is a good thing to gift, in my opinion, alarms. And not just the sonic alarms, like, to wake up with fire alarms, smoke alarms, carbon monoxide, weather alarms. You know, I'm a weather nerd, and I am, I cannot stress enough the importance of paying attention to the weather. And don't tell me, well, I live in the Midwest where we always have tornadoes, blah, blah, blah. Yes, you do, and people have died because they didn't pay attention. So, this is important because deaf people are often left out of this type of thing. You know, with hurricane forecasts and whatnot, like there's not enough information out there in ASL. Granted, these types of alarms, these visual alarms, whether they're flashing or they have like the text like the weather uh, visual radios, tornado warning, da da da. Yes, it's in English, it's not in ASL, whatever, but still, it's visual. They have the little strobe lights that go on and off, right? So, there's a way to know. Because one, outside sirens aren't gonna work if there's a tornado. They're not even meant for hearing people who are inside. They are meant for people who are outside. And just, you know, if you, you can't hear the smoke alarm, the fire alarm, whatnot, hey, if somebody's breaking in, there's probably an alarm for that as well. So it's, it's always good to have. I mean, true story, my smoke alarm was going off because the battery was dying and I could not hear it. I was wondering why my cats refused to go upstairs for days. And then I went live on stream, but I also like did a video Snapchat, like filming something and people were like, are you aware that you have an alarm going off? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> So again, it's really, really important to have visual alarms. I do think that if you can't afford them, somebody told me in a comment on Facebook that the government will pay for it, vocational rehabilitation, something, something. So a possibility, but if you are wanting to get one for a friend who is deaf, just so you know, all the things that I mentioned that are like alarms, the sonic alarm, the visual tornado, weather, smoke alarm. You can get them at Harris Communications. I am not sponsored by them by any means, but that is like the number one place for this type of thing. And they have so many other things like TTYs, which m most people don't use nowadays, except for maybe the elderly. So, you know, but there's just, there's so many things. There's stuff for hearing aids and whatnot. So it's worth taking a look. But now I have two more, two more, um, suggestions and these are the more expensive ones just so you know but hear me out the Apple watch and an iPhone one or the other or both again like I mentioned maybe there's a sugar daddy or a really rich grandmother to help you out I understand that these things are expensive one of the things that I really like about Apple that Samsung for me personally doesn't really deliver on is accessibility. And with the iPhone, you can do FaceTime with people. I found it easier to video call people with the iPhone than the Samsung. They have the TTY software on here, which works great for me. I don't have that on my Samsung. If I wanna use TTY, I actually have to hook it up to an actual physical machine. If there's another way that makes it more digital, like the Apple one, I haven't found it yet for some reason, but that's why it's so good for me personally. And with the Apple Watch, sometimes I can't feel when I get a text. When I, even when I have the phone like on my pocket, I don't feel a vibration on my butt. I like this because it's just, I can feel things a lot better on my wrist. So if I have a text that's coming up, it's gonna show up on here. And for me, that is fantastic. For me, Apple wins the whole accessibility market. But yeah, again, I recognize that these are the more expensive things, but you could probably find them refurbished or whatever. So yeah, those are the list of things I could think of. I know a lot of people had other suggestions on my Facebook post, but keep this uh, small and concise. If you have any other ideas, not just as a deaf person, but as a disabled person in general, so maybe you use various mobility aids or you are blind, Leave suggestions in the comments down below. Maybe somebody else is, you know, looking and wanting to know and they want to pick something up from the comments and surprise someone. 
So I appreciate you watching very much, but before you go, if you haven't, consider being a pledge on a Patreon. It's a great way to support your favorite creator's content. From me, you get perks like music playlists, written pieces you won't see anywhere else, and pen pal letters if you go up high enough. And I will see you later. Bye.